This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Mr. Micro Mike and today we're going to talk about some Detroit Lions rumors obviously regarding the Lions. Majority of this is going to be talking about trades and the upcoming trade deadline. What are the Lions going to do here? And in this video we're going to talk about Stefan Gilmer possibly getting traded to Detroit, the Kenny Galladay injury and what it means, Marvin Jones Jr. potential trade, Carry on Johnson, is he on the market? And as well as Danny Amendola, could he be on the move as well? Before I get into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the big red subscribe button. Help me get to 8K, 8,000 subscribers. That would be fantastic. Like the video because it helps bring the content out via YouTube algorithm and share it if you so kindly would do so. But let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Let's talk about Stephon Gilmore, the cornerback from the New England Patriots. Now, rumors are is he is on the trade block because first off, he has a lot of money. He's 31 and of course the Patriots are not a good football team and they potentially could be in rebuild mode. Now, if you know who Stephon Gilmore was, he was the defensive player of the year last year, a very good cornerback doing a great job when it comes to man coverage. Obviously, the connection to Detroit is immediate. Detroit Lions obviously make a lot of trades with the New England Patriots. They have a connection there. Bill Belichick, Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn. We know the deal here. Why this trade potentially could go down. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about should the Lions do it and what the compensation would be. So, the Detroit Lions are trying to make the playoffs. This is the new, we know the deal here. The Ford said you got to be a playoff team, playoff contender. And Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia understand this with a record of three and four. They may try to go all in to get this team to the playoffs. And what is a good way to go all in is to get the defensive player of the year from last year onto the Detroit Lions squad. Why this would make sense. First off, getting the best player last year and throwing on your team obviously helps the Detroit Lions defense has been rocky throughout the year. We're getting burnt a little bit by the young cornerbacks of Akuda here, as well as the injuries that we've sustained when it comes to Desmond Trufant, Coleman not playing so well. So maybe they want to bring in a guy that will immediately shut down the position on defense. When it comes to the compensation that will require, to me, it would require probably a second round pick and a player in exchange to get him. For the Detroit Lions perspective, they do have players they can trade away. Obviously, when it comes to Marvin Jones Jr., some wide receivers, Danny Amendola, maybe they want a defensive player such as a Jared Davis. And of course, we got draft capital. Would I make this trade? Personally, I would not make this trade. I feel like the Detroit Lions should continue to build through the draft. Giving away a high second round pick could really hurt the team. And to me, you build through the draft. I mean, you got Kenny Galladay in the draft who really helped out. Amani Awarie. Uh, we got Swift. We've had a lot of players such as Jonah Jackson. It really helps the team out. And if you're giving up capital such as a second round pick, it can hurt the team in the long run. And I am afraid that if we hurt the team in the long run and we don't succeed this year, we're just going ahead, giving up a draft pick for the next regime to come in and have less capital to build a roster. And of course, Gilmore is getting older. But we'll see what goes on. That's just my personal opinion. Injury to Kenny Galladay. Now he hurt his hip in the Lions and Colts game. Now there's a lot of rumors going around this potentially he could just be faking it or you know this is a dispute when it comes to the contract and I totally get it. I think the Detroit Lions uh, look they he wants to get a contract obviously but I legitimately think he's injured and his hip is hurt and he is going to be week to week potentially could go on IR for three weeks. 
and that will hurt the Lions offense. We've seen without Kenny Galladay on the field, the Lions have not won a game when he's not playing. Clearly, he's a difference maker for the Detroit Lions offense, so he's going to miss the game versus the Minnesota Vikings and potentially longer, and that's going to really hurt the Detroit Lions trying to make a run here. So the odds of them winning gets less and less when Kenny Galladay is not on the field who could potentially replace his production. Obviously, Marvin Hall, he's definitely been doing it. Maybe they can finally bring up Quintez Cephas to help utilize in that passing game. But it's going to hurt. Comment in the comment section. Do you think the Detroit Lions should make a trade for Stephon Gilmer, the cornerback of the New England Patriots? Let me know in the comment section. I'm sure that this is going to be a great subject, and this will end here tomorrow after the trade deadline is over. But before then, let's see what you guys think. Should the Detroit Lions make that trade? Another trade rumor that's been going around, not just this year, but the last couple years, is Marvin Jones Jr. Why is he a potentially trade candidate? He's in the last year of his deal. He's an older vet. And that's what the Detroit Lions have done. We've seen it with the Golden Tate. They tend to like to trade players away on the last part of their deal. What could you get in a compensation for him? I'm not thinking you're going to get a whole lot. Maybe a fourth round pick, third round pick, something around there. And if we do that, it's potentially going to really hurt the Detroit Lions offense. We're already out of the Kenny Galladay with him being injured. It's going to hurt us if Marvin Jones Jr. get traded. So I don't think it's going to happen. But if we do decide to do it, that's kind of what you would see. Um, subscribe to my channel. Why do you want to subscribe to my channel? I drop content every day. Do live shows on Thursday at the One Pride Podcast. And of course, the live watch parties. As well as, do you want the Lions to trade players? Let me know. Subscribe to my channel and we will have fun talking about this. Another player that the Lions could trade away is Carry On Johnson. And why would they do that? Because he's not doing too well via depth chart. He's getting pushed around, not seeing a whole lot of time on the field. You get more for Adrian Peterson. You're getting more time from DeAndre Swift, obviously. And so we're seeing the reduction of his play on the field. With that said, what could you get for him? Maybe a late round draft pick, maybe a sixth conditional, something like that. And to me, with the production of Adrian Peterson kind of faltering, they let Bo Scarborough go. I don't think they're going to trade him away now, considering they cut Bo Scarborough, considering that AP continues to falter. Maybe they just keep him. I mean, for a conditional pick, it kind of makes sense to just keep him for the depth chart, even though I feel like his production is not there. Maybe they should move on from him, but from a standpoint of the Lions trying to win and the falter of AP, you can see this. Now, another individual you're hearing that the Detroit Lions could trade is Danny Amendola, and why could they trade him? The production has faltered um, over the last couple of games, as well as the emergence of Quintez Cephas. I mean, they drafted this guy for a reason. Maybe they feel Cephas can finally overtake him. That's potentially why. What could you get for him? It would be a late round draft pick, in my opinion. And that's probably all you're going to get for him. Personally, I feel that they should not trade him as well. Again, we need all the players on this roster as we can get. Kenny Galladay is going to be out. And the Lions are in win now mode. So to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The Lions trading away Danny Amendola. I think the Lions will potentially be buyers instead of sellers. Could they make a trade for a Gilmore? That is potential. Could they make a trade for another player? That's potentially possible as well. When it comes to my channel, folks, the Vikings and Lions preview prediction and analysis will be on Wednesday at 10.30 in the morning, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out, as well as the live Q&A show on Thursday at 6.30 p.m., as well as the Detroit Lions versus Minnesota Vikings Sunday 1 p.m. live watch party with game audio. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. With that said, folks, adios.